Government spokesman Piotr Muller emphasized that the project extends tariff protection for households and strategic institutions such as hospitals, schools and kindergartens until 2027. As has been the case so far, that is, it will be possible from the state budget to subsidize the tariffs accordingly so that the gas prices will not be increased in such a way as is directly attributable to market conditions. There is also a project to increase gas storage. The law makes the operation of these storage facilities more flexible, also provides for the prospect of increasing storage capacity in Poland and facilities procedures related to increasing storage facilities in Poland so as to increase their size in the future and thus ensure even greater gas security in this area. The high prices of energy resources also include taxes imposed by the European Union, which were to motivate countries to accelerate energy transformation in the face of drastically rising energy prices. Politicians more and more often talk about changing the climate policy, for example, in the form of the Fit for 55 package. This is an important package to protect the environment, but at this point, with limited energy resources, in my opinion, this package should be suspended. Not only should it be suspended, but it should be thrown out to the trash. This is not currently something that is the most important matter. The process of diversifying energy sources is still progressing in Poland. Yesterday, the Technical Inspection Authority issued the last approval for the onshore section of the Baltic Pipe Gas Pipeline. The Baltic Pipe Gas Pipeline will be launched in October. It will reach full power at the end of the year. It will flow from Norwegian deposits, which we partially have. The first contracts are already in place. There will be more. The Orlin Group is also carrying out diversification activities. These are, for example, investments in renewable energy sources. In the first quarter this year, the Orlin Group had energy assets with a total capacity of 3.4 gigawatts, including 649 megawatts of renewable energy. By 2030, the Orlin Group and its portfolio will reach 4.5 gigawatts. We are talking about low and zero emission energy. The largest Polish fuel conglomerate is planning further investments in small nuclear reactors. The first one may be built by 2030. It is possible to build several or even a dozen or so reactors with a capacity of 300 megawatts each. We would like to use the energy not only for the needs of production plants, but also to supply the Polish network. Despite declarations, Germany is far behind when it comes to diversifying energy sources. Now they are panically trying to fill their gas storage facilities before the start of the heating season. In addition, the operation of the Nord Stream 1 gas pipeline was suspended until July 21st due to maintenance yesterday. Berlin fears that the tap with Russian gas will be closed after that date. In February of 2023, they are to have the first floating LNG terminal. Until then, they may even need this gas from other EU countries under the Regulation on Security of Supply, which somehow regulates EU countries to share their stocks. Germany is currently at the final stage with regard to shutting down the last three nuclear power plants. There are coal technologies that emit as much CO2 as gas power plants, and Germany, after all, had power plants which for ideological reasons were closed. According to a survey, 79 percent of participants declare that they intend to save electricity and gas due to the situation on the energy resources market. Only 21 percent do not declare such actions.